Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making this cat bed that hangs on your window. So I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but I have seen them around and I decided that I wanted to try and make my own. I found this lovely box in B&M's. It was originally £7.99, but it was reduced to 2 99 by the time I got to the house. So that was a bonus. It's so lovely, it's black and glittery. You get them in gold, you get them in rose gold, you get them in silver, and I think you get them in pink as well. That is only in the UK though. For this DIY you don't need to have one of these. You can use a chopping board as long as it's wooden. You could use a piece of wood that is thick enough to hold screws and stuff like that. Um, also what you're going to need for this is two of these eyes. These eyes are for the rope that's going to attach to this. You're also going to need four suction cups. Now it's up to yourself if you want to go for more, if your cat is a bit heavier I would suggest going for more suction cups because you're going to be attaching this thing to the window and you don't want your cats to be falling off when they're halfway in dreamland. I also got this rope, I love this rope because it is silver, I've never seen silver rope before. I got this um, in the garden section of Pound World I think it was, um, they had reduced them to 50 pence because they were clearing their gardening section for springtime for some strange reason um, but everything was reduced so I decided to pick two of these up because they would be really really good for the rats as well um, hanging stuff up for the rats and stuff like that it would also be good for reupholstering cat trees and cat scratchers as well because it is that kind of twiny stuff that the cats like to scratch on you're also going to need a drill for this because you're going to need to drill into the wood so first off we're going to start by drilling two holes well, a hole on either side of this, right down the corner. We do want to watch those. Then I'm going to go ahead and just screw my screws in. So it is important that you drill your holes before you put your screws in because if you don't, it is very possible that the wood may snap, depending on what type of wood you're using. Once that bit's done, we then need to drill two bigger holes at either side of this. This is where your suction cups are going to hook into, um, to hold it onto the window. It's So as you can see I have now attached this to the window, it isn't done yet, the two hooks are just holding this on. The next two hooks are going to go above this and we're going to bring string from our hooks and we're going to attach them up to the next two sucking cups. <laughs>
Midnight's reaction. I think this time I've actually built something the cats are going to use. <laughs> I do like when I build something that the cats enjoy. Okay, time for the big boy's reaction. <laughs> I really am scared in case this falls because Shadow is quite heavy. But I'm pretty sure it won't. If my DIY skills are as good as I think they are, everything should be fine. Yeah. Oh, you've seen it bend. <laughs> yeah, I think Shadow approves as well. But there is treats on the go, so I won't be surprised if he decides to jump down. See if he can figure a way down himself. You clever boy. Well guys, thanks for watching again, and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button down there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!